Hey guys, Zane Keyboards here, and this is the Mode 65. So I got this board in December of 2021. I've had the board for about a month now. It's now January 4th. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts. Um, since I've spent a little bit more time with it, I was able to basically try out all the different configs that uh, come stock out of the box. And uh, I was grateful uh, enough to be able to try some of the other configs uh, of the higher end capabilities of this board with the copper bottom mount, the TI back weight, uh, and a bunch of other things. So we'll get uh, into all that. First things first though, uh, value. It starts off at $300. You can get it off the Mode website and it's their first foray into the 65% custom space. Uh, they're most notable for their Mode 80. Uh, a great board uh, by comparison, but honestly, not for me. Uh, the 65 though, it is their crown jewel. It's their magnum opus. I will say this is probably their best work and um, it really shows in every iteration and piece of the board from the anodization um, to just the overall feel and heft of it it is a heavy board it can go up to about six pounds I mean I don't have a scale but it's it's about six pounds okay it is a heavy boy as far as value goes uh, what you'll get for $300 is an, an alu top alu bottom, um, your choice of a palm or FR4 plate, and of course uh, if you choose other plates like alu, uh, copper, silver mirror, um, or any other ones, um, you know, that will, you know, obviously incrementally increase. Uh, I think the top end of this board goes out to about, about I believe, $559, um, so that's before, uh, you know, shipping and tax, but from the Mode website, they actually allow you to pay in installments, so it's a, if that's something that will um, change the game for you, definitely look into it. Um, I would not miss this board. Now let's talk mounting styles. Which one is the best? Well, there's three, and it depends. So if you want a stiffer typing experience, opt to get the silicon base. It's $20 extra, and it essentially mutes and dampens the entire board, uh, gets rid of all flex that you would otherwise have in the board, and there can be a lot. Uh, but if you like tactiles, if you like a carbon fiber or you know heavy plate like a brass or a copper, definitely go for stack mount. Um, I, I think personally it just sounds the best out of the box. Okay. Now if you want a harsher, uh, I guess louder, you know, typing style and uh, typing sound, um, top mount is probably what you want to stick with. And if you want uh, maybe not as much harshness on the top end, um, definitely go for the ISO top mount, which is basically just silicon gaskets that um, are included on the gasket tabs of the plate itself, okay? Um, personally, I opted for ISO top. Um, I love the way that it feels, especially when it's paired with an alu half plate. Um, so you get all that flex in the board. I, I mean, this is probably one of the most flexible boards I've ever tried in my entire journey in custom keyboards. So it's definitely something that I think everyone should experience at least once. Um, and of course, I think personally, it's one of my favorite boards of the entire year. Um, so I'm very excited for their next works. Maybe they're gonna go into the 60 percent layout maybe they're gonna go into an Alice style layout no one really knows yet but I am very very happy with what I've gotten and the lead time is incredibly short I mean right now if you were to you know order one on their website you would wait until April and then it would show up at your door 
Um, I was one of the first people to buy it. There was a delay because they were making an additional proto um, from August, but I got it last month. Not that bad, you know, waiting six months for a board uh, rather than waiting like two years. I'm looking at you, Rama. Um, but outside of that, you know, it's it's an awesome board. It's perpetually in stock. Um, they might close the group by eventually, but for now, um, they've kept it open. So if you have been looking at this board, if you have been thinking about it, definitely get it. Don't think. It's great. Um, in the last month, I've seen explosive growth. I think I'm up to almost 600, you know, subs on YouTube which is kind of insane if you really think about it. I started this off as kind of like a keyboard journal and um, you know, quickly people are asking me when my next video is gonna pop up. So I'm very happy um, that you know, I've had all the support from all these people on YouTube. Um, I am incredibly humbled. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. And um, if you like this style of video and what I'm trying to do here, uh, definitely consider you know, commenting. Let me know what you think, what you want to see in upcoming videos. Um, and of course, um, consider liking and subbing to the channel if you've just come across, uh, you know, this channel for the first time. Um, I really love, uh, you know, YouTube. I love like looking at keyboards. I love building them. I love talking about them. Uh, all my friends basically are annoyed to tears because I can't stop talking about them. Um, but I have a lot of stuff in the works. I have two boards that are coming up. I believe I'll be building the frog next as well as a um, very special private group I board um, that a couple friends and I have gotten the chance to make. Um, so uh, stay tuned, you'll see all about it. And of course, um, thank you guys as always. Stand out.